what is going on everybody so I have traveled back up to Pennsylvania if some of you don't know I moved from Pennsylvania to uh, Virginia Beach Virginia and this is actually my parents house in Pennsylvania and I just came back to visit and it's the first time I brought my bike back in over over a year the last time I rode here was July of 2016 so I haven't seen what my trails look like. I haven't gone down there yet, haven't touched them, but I'm sure that they're going to be uh, pretty, pretty overgrown and see if we can even get through them. Well, there's a prime example, pricker bushes all over the place, tree branches down. Oh yeah, this is gonna be hectic. There should be a jump in here that still exists. Little jump there. Seem like I have to. Oh, there you go. There's the first thing. Yep, yep. Just go on through it. Just go on through it. Second jump that I built. Still there. Nice to know. Uh, I'm going through about a million spider webs right now. Branches hanging down all over the place. Overgrown grass all over the place. Yeah, a lot of work needs to be done in here, seems like. This was just, used to be all just a mud pit. Big long straight away. To a bunch of prickers and branches. And, oh. So I guess I should come down here and actually try to clear some stuff out. a really fun smooth trail with a bunch of little log hops and jumps all right guys so first lap was a disaster there was so much stuff in my way prickers and branches hitting me in the face 24 7 so I had to run up to the shop grab some uh, clippers and I went I just took a break and walked through and clipped down pretty much everything that was hitting me in the face so we're gonna try to burn some laps now because I don't think anything is gonna be hitting me too hard now so let's Oh, I forgot to cut those. This turn right here is just flat. Kind of crappy. And this jump is like all kinds of messed up right there. So I can't send it too hard on that. comes up real quick here. Sharp right. Oh, I love being back in PA. The trails are so much fun, man. Alright, let's try this one more time. I'm holding on to the bars way too tight. This turn's really fun if you hit it the right way. Yeah, it's so smooth. Oh! I almost whiskey throttled it. I gave it a little too much and the bike almost got away from me. I know I can hit it a lot faster. My speed going into it just sucks right now. Another thing I have to get used to, since I haven't ridden up north here in PA uh, in over a year, I've gotten used to 
soil, which is like all sand. It's all real soft sandy soil. Yeah, I'm used to the real soft sandy stuff. And this is all super hard packed with a thin film of like slippery mud on top. <sighs> I got pricker branches all over me. To avoid the rocks. Nice. Almost lost it. I get stuck in that rut. Well, I know today's video was kind of short. It was just me doing a few laps around my uh, my track, but I just got back and it's my first day of riding, so I'm going to get used to it. Next video will be with my buddy Seth. And I'm sure you guys, if you watch my moto vlogs, you've probably seen the moto vlogs with him in them. He's the guy that I sold my uh, 2005 YZ250F to. And I'm riding with him. Woo! Woo! I'm riding with him and I got a little special treat. He got something new, so you'll see that in the next video. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Hope you uh, enjoy the couple of moto vlogs that I'm gonna make while I'm back here in Pennsylvania on my backyard trails again. Until next time, guys. One more turn for you. Hear that Suki roar.